Hey there everyone, Trantia here, and welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. So in the last episode, we got some great vegetables, that was the most important part, and now we translate. So we're now in the month of June. We're still waiting for Kanji to recover. And now we intently translate. Expression is increased. And there we go, expression has changed from eloquent to persuasive. Yeah, so we didn't get, we didn't get the, uh, like chance to get mega money from it, but we wouldn't have gotten it anyways. My luck's been really bad with that. Alright, so yep, it's raining. What a dreary day. Today we're gonna go to band practice. It's just so silent without the music. Come closer, all we care about. Let's go. Oh, thank God, some music. There, Trumpet of Passion, you get some expression. Oh, but yeah, I know he's not here today. At least not playing right now. Oh, there she is. <laughs> oh, we got our next venue, huh? Yeah, where are we playing? Oh, the hospital. As soon as they can. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know, just bring out your best ones. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, I guess you gotta have to run that by the school, don't you? Oh, hey, that's fine. Doesn't bother me none. You know, just, for, just forget about it today, you know? Forget about it. <laughs> oh, didn't you always say that the other guy's always the one who's playing trombone during these? Oh, well, I guess there it is. I mean, what, you, you don't want to go? see. I mean, I guess there. I don't know. Band performances were never that great <laughs> in my high school. Uh, I, I recall my, my girlfriend at the time doing like a, her, or a performance and I went there and just like the, the auditorium was like really cold so everything was just like really flat. So that's what I think of when I think of high school band. You know, that's a great attitude. I said that sarcastically when I said it. At least it sounded that way to me. Yeah, take it easy. Oh boy, real quick, I gotta stand here so our, <laughs> our bond can strengthen. Give me that rank up. Goodbye. See you later. Alright, so, back home for the night. It's raining, no Dojima, so you know what that means? It's time to go read our uh, terrible comic book that we got from Daisuke. Which detective? So it's I continue reading. And the rain spatters against the window. We gain, we gain some understanding. So yeah, I, sometimes reading with, with rain is good. You, you get some extra stuff. Oh man, I just looked at what I'm doing today. Yeah, the rain is still going. It's a good thing we already got our boy out of there. So, it's a rainy day. You know what that means, fellas? Thank God, like, you know, this is six of eight for, for this particular thing. I haven't had to reload in a minute. Uh, this guy's had a quest here. I'm just going to talk to him now. I mean, not necessarily. Oh, well, what was it? Hey, what's up? Saw the cutest little cat. Huh. Shouldn't feed feral animals, but... I mean, I guess I haven't read it. 
<laughs> See, I'm accepting this now, uh, but we're not going to do anything with it at the moment. And before I just, you know, screwed everything up by doing that. Man, I still have an April save. That's weird. I saved so much, like, so frequently on my first playthrough and just kept, like, going to different slots. So it's rainy day. Aya time. Today we're shooting for understanding, courage, and diligence. How many times will I have to do it? Let's find that out right now. Alright, first try. Understanding? Fuck! Ah! Alright, second try. Understanding? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want knowledge. I just, I just want to cry. Attempt number three. Understanding, knowledge, diligence. Attempt number four. Understanding. Fifth attempt. Understanding. Man, it just wants me to go to college to get more knowledge, bro. Sixth attempt. Man. This is my seventh attempt. Understanding, courage, diligence. Woo, we did it. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, there's nothing to be too bad about. I'm happy. I'm happy as can fucking be. All right, so yeah, we'll have to do that two more times, thankfully. Welcome back. Hi, Dojima. But tonight, we must continue to read this cringe-inducing comic. Which detective? Chapter three. Let's go with it, man. Imagine if I clicked the wrong book and I had to reload and do that again. More understanding, and we have one chapter left. And now on to Saturday. Still raining. So, remember how a while ago we we completed the, the Emma's request and we just never turned it in? Well, that's what we're doing today. Because, as I said, uh, getting a quest from the Fox does not pass time, but turning one in does. So, we just walked up to the offering box, and then we call the fox down. Alright, let's tell him. Let's tell him what's up. We granted the wish, my dude. So yeah, this is pretty much just what I think I said this before. This is what happens every time. It just runs around you. Does one of those. It just, it's just, he's generally just real happy about it. And we increase our rank with the fox. And this one's actually pretty useful because it reduces the cost of the uh, healing in the TV. <laughs> so. It just, we've been standing there for who knows how long having to stare off, and now we're going home. And now, the weather. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. Well, good thing we got our boy, because the fog's coming in tonight. So, let's just go upstairs and... Just watch the Midnight Channel, make sure. The fog has set in. And thank goodness there's nothing there. What's going on at the shopping district? Huh. Sorry. You, you walk back into the fog, idiot. You've been thwarted by a bunch of high schoolers. But hey, you know what? Today's Sunday. We got the bangers going on. We're still waiting for Kanji to recover. First thing on the list for today is yes, it will tell you every time. Hey, you should check out that shopping program. And it's correct. Let's check it out. So let's see. I mean, this is the same. So we have the Jingi Fundoshi. We're not here for that. That 
dog water. We're here for the Inaba Trout. So let's see, yeah, we're buying the Inaba Trout combo. Seems that we don't fish for most of the game. This is where, like, you'll get enough fish from buying them here for everything you need to do until we, like, actually start fishing. So, yep, yeah, cool. There we go. We have successfully shopped on the Sunday. So, today, we're going outside. We are going to touch grass, believe it or not. So, we're going into town. We're going to the shrine first thing, because we have a few people we're going to talk to, such as the Bug Boy. We haven't talked to him for a minute. And soon enough here, we, we won't need to talk to him anymore, I believe. I believe that's coming up. What's up, bug boy? Oh, you lost your bug catching that. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I wonder where it could be. I don't know anything about it, dude. I'm sorry. It's okay, we've talked to the bug boy at the shrine. And now... I should wait. Ooh, no, I have to go back in there. Ugh. I'm sitting here getting ahead of myself. We're gonna go call down the fox. So there is Fox, there is Jump Down with Ema with a wish. Then the Lady Lake handwriting. I'm gonna clear my mind of snacks. I want to hate them. You do not want those death sticks. So yeah, we'll take it. I wish I didn't crave snacks. And we can just bang that one out today, but of course we're not turning it in today. It'll be very easy. So we'll just go to the south part of the shopping district. We'll be getting these quests here in a couple of days. So here's this lady. No, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, order to control your urges. Mustn't want snacks. <laughs> Just make me fat. Yeah, so why are you standing right outside of it? <laughs> oh no. You're, you're having the opposite effect on yourself, lady. She's the odd tasting. Hmm. I mean, I think that's a pretty accurate statement. So, we talk to her, and once we do that, we talk to Chie. Yeah, there's one looking for a snack. It doesn't taste like a snack. Let's ask her. Oh, well, that sucks. But sure. So we got some meat gum. I mean, I haven't necessarily, no. Cool, so now we go back to talk to her. The smell, it's some meat gum. Juicy, raw, and yet sweet. That sounds terrible. Yeah, go ahead. Whoa. It's chewy meat. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, good. You shouldn't do that. Get out of here. Go rethink your life. There you go. So there we go. Quest A completed. We'll be turning it in at a later date. And well, we're not hanging out with anyone out here today. We're going to Juness. And she's got a quest. Yeah, yes, I am. There's no cabbage. Oh, no. Uh, I can help you out. Three cabbages. Well, all right. Uh, let's see. Well, that garner lady is not here. So sometimes, yeah, this lady won't show up. I'm kind of curious. I'm, I'm just gonna go check. I don't know if she does anything if she's not here. But she was chilling outside the Dojima residence. I'm pretty sure. What's up? Dude, what'd you got? Crack wheat. Cabbage time. Let's go. So I believe this is what we're here to get. I want the cabbage seedling. Alright, thanks. Nah, we're not buying the wheat. 
Cool. So that should be what we need for later. We're not going to plant it at the moment. Because I believe that does take time, right? I, I mean, I can't recall what the hell. You know what? Uh, well, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to stand right here. And I'm going to go save and see. Well, no, I can't. Because if I go in, time passes. Never mind. We're hanging out with Yosuke is what we're doing. Yo! Yeah, man, let's go. And I mean, there's a Dachi. We'll we'll deal with him later. All right. Back in the food court. Hmm. I don't know. You know when this music comes up, that sun's about to go down. That's what you signed up for. Well, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I guess maybe they haven't worked a job before. Uh-oh. No call, no show is no good. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's no good. I mean, that's very true, though. Hmm. I don't know. Do you think I can do anything because the because he's the manager, son? I'm not the manager, son. Oh. This is... Yeah, this, this is getting real fucking nasty. You know what? We're, we're, we're just gonna go for it. I feel bad for Saki Senpai. <laughs> I may be stupid. Hey! Yep, true. Oh, poor Yosuke. Yeah, you didn't expect to get the lip back, did you? Damn it. You were just upset, man. That's how it is. No. Got your back, dog. It has grown deeper. And see, like, seeing a scene like this just makes the uh, event that happens later in the month sting even more. Uh, I don't know. I, like I said, I have a whole lot to talk about Yosuke towards the end of this month. I have a whole lot of uh, defending while also pointing out the very obvious not greatness about everything. I have my whole thesis typed out in my head. I don't type shit out. So Yosuke can now endure a mortal blow during battle. So yeah, essentially, if an attack <sighs> could kill, he may survive with one HP. I mean, it's not your fault, man. They're fucking shit workers. Hey man, you know, take it easy, Yosuke. It's been a fucked up day. Welcome home! Hi, Nanako. I'll be back. Because tonight, we're going to the shrine. For the reason of, remember that lady I talked about we're going to go talk about? Or talk to? Oh, your child's seventh birthday. Oh, that's... that's no good. Oh, what's up? Strange night on the rooftop. Yeah, I know about it. Cool, so we have a butterfly net. So, I mean, thanks for that. Now I'm leaving. <laughs> 
Sorry about your being hungry. All right, so now that we're home for the night, we're gonna spend some time with Nanako. Hey, big bro. Sup? Oh, uh, asking the real tough ones right here, huh? <laughs> yeah, it is a very difficult question. Okay, cool. Going to come closer. Let's spend the evening with Nanako. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it's just, just hit me with it right here, okay? Mm. <laughs> yes, it is. Is there anything else? Well... Uh, well, when a person dies, they go to heaven. Robbery at the post office. Why do bad people do bad things? I don't know. See, it's like I said, don't want to want in here. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know nothing. Huh, Dad was here a lot, huh? Well, it's. He's just protecting you, Nanako. Mm. Ah, poor Nanako. I love Nanako's social link as well. A lot of good social links. There's some not great ones, but I don't think any of them reach the lowest of, like, <laughs> the low of, like, Persona 3s. Oh boy. But definitely some are way better than others in this game. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> yes, please. Let us talk about something else. Let's talk about Cappy Bars. Uh, hi there. Hey, what's up, Kanji? come from well um I didn't know you guys were my senpai uh, thanks a bunch don't even mention it dude though I don't really remember what happened there's some things we'd like you to tell us about first off who is that boy you met with I really don't know much about him. I mean, I've only met him twice. Yeah, but you walked home from school with him. What did you guys talk about? Uh, well, he just asked stuff like uh, if anything different happened lately. But I don't know where my head was at. When I came to my senses, I blurted out that I wanted to see him again. To a guy? I, uh, I don't really get it myself. Girls are so loud and obnoxious, so, you know, I, I really don't like dealing with them. Guys are a lot more laid back. So, uh, I started thinking, what if I'm the type who never gets interested in girls? And I couldn't accept that, so I kept spinning around and around in my head well, I can understand the part about feeling more relaxed around dudes. Well, you know, let's just change the subject a bit. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm fine now. I mean, it was all in my head when you get down to it. I was the one shutting out that stuff. So, uh, our family's run a textile shop for generations. Oh, yeah, you, you already knew that. <laughs> My parents are kind of weird. They they say stuff like, dyes are one with the universe, and cloth is alive. And that's the kind of house I grew up in. 
So I've been interested in sewing and stuff since I was a kid. The second I say stuff like that, people look at me funny. Girls make fun of me, the people in the neighborhood treat me like I'm some zoo animal. So I was sick of everything. And when I got to my senses, I was running wild. Shit, what is with me today? I'm going on and on about myself. Forget all that. Man, I must look really lame right now. Yeah, you're pretty cool. <laughs> I doubt it. No, you're my boy, Kanji. You're my freaking boy. <laughs> I've never talked about any of this stuff before. Guess I never had anyone to tell it to. I guess I wasn't really afraid of girls. I was just scared of people in general. But all that's behind me. Wow, I'm surprised. You're a good kid. Don't, don't, don't call me a good kid. <laughs> <laughs> no need to get embarrassed. You're a big guy. You can take it. Hey, is there anything you remember after you ran into us the second time? You know, after you chased us away and said you were going to take us down? Huh? Uh, I went home. I was going to sleep it off in my room. Wait, I, I think someone came... To your house? Who was it? Uh, well, it was just a feeling I had. I mean, I don't know if anyone actually came. Other than that, I remember some weird, dark entrance thing. And when I woke up, I was laid out on the floor of that sauna place. A dark entrance. Could it have been a TV? Huh? Well, now that you mention it, maybe so. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, no reason. I was just wondering. Did the police ask you anything? Well, my mom had called the cops to look for me, so they questioned me for a while. I told them exactly what I just told you. And they looked at me like I was crazy. So, like, are you guys playing detective or something? Something like that. Anything I can do to help? If there's some bastard out there who put me through this, I ain't gonna rest until I make him pay. Seriously? Awesome. You'd make a great addition to our team. What do you say, leader? Abso fucking lootly. Thank you, sir. I'll put my life on the line for you guys. I'll do my best. And with that, Kanji motherfucking Tatsumi has joined the group. And that's a rank up for the investigation team. And look, also, I've said it at least seven times, and I'll say it at least seven more. I fucking love Kanji. Well, if we're going to welcome aboard a new member... Should we take him to our special headquarters? We're still calling it that? <laughs> what? What's that? Come on, let's go. Man, you eat a lot. Were you listening to what we were saying? Huh? Well, sure, I was, I was listening. <laughs> I was listening. Ah, oh, close your mouth. Mm. So, uh, what, so someone's killing people with the TV? What, what, what is he, beating them to death? <laughs> no, they weren't being beaten with a TV. Were you listening at all? <laughs> oh, don't worry. He'll understand once he sees the place with his own eyes. But the way it happened was just the same as with Yukiko. The killer kidnapped him first, then threw him into the TV. Yeah, it's scary. That show's been pretty crazy lately, huh? 
Yeah, I keep wondering who'll show up next. I knew before I came on that he'd be the next one to appear. What's that dude's name? That first year who used to be in a biker gang? Who the hell do you think was next? His name is Kanji Tatsumi. And he wasn't in a biker gang. He's the one who beat the shit out of those leathered up pansies. So who are you dipshits? <laughs> Get him, Kaji. <laughs> Boring. I can't stand it. Sure, they have no ideas related to the murders, but still, how can they talk about their schoolmate like that? They're like onlookers at a car crash. As long as it's not happening to them, they're dying to see. Damn, this sucks. We don't even know who's going to be targeted anymore. This case disproved our assumption that all the victims are female. What was the other thing we thought they had in common? People involved in the initial case about Miss Yamano are the targets. How about that? Well, I mean, let's see. Uh, Saki was the one who found Miss Yamano's body, and Miss Yamano had a scarf that was made by Tatsumi Textiles. But well, we, we still don't know. I guess it's too early to say if we're wrong about that one. But that announcer was involved with their mothers, not them. You guys saying you don't have any clues? Well, listen up, because I got something big. What's that? Okay, when I made my comeback at school today, there was an annoying brat hanging around. Turns out, he was snooping around about senpais and my disappearance. So I took this from him. I don't know what the hell this all is, though. Uh, and you took it anyway? Alright, so let's take a look at this paper here. Several lists. Uh, let's see, the Enka album chart. Ooh, Mizuzu Haragi's new album is number one. I hear her album sales have gone up since the incident. Makes sense. If she knows about it and she's using it to sell her songs, that's pretty sketchy. She has an alibi, though. I don't think this involves her. Let's move on. Yeah, you're right. And what about the female announcer rankings? Oh, Mayumi Yamano is around the lower middle of the list. Does this mean she wasn't that well known until the incident? Scandals can do a hell of a lot for someone's notoriety. It's just this guy's personal rankings, nothing important. What does the next one say? And then we have list of TV programs. Bayumi Yamano 411, Saki Kunishi 413. What are these dates? April 11th? Oh, they found the first body on the day school started, so that would have been the 12th. The 11th is the day before that. I know I can't forget the day Saki Senpai's body was found. That was the 15th. So then what are these dates? And what does list of TV programs mean? What's Saki Konishi April 13th? That would be the day she was on TV. I see. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Saw that too. They were interviewing her because she found the first body. Then this part, Mayumi Yamano, April 11th. Is that the day she appeared on TV too? Oh, she was on. I remember now. That was when the affair hit the news. Hey, wait a sec. Yukiko, didn't you get interviewed too? When did that interview air? I think it was when I was absent from school. Um, it was the day after I met you at the embankment. I had my kimono on. Do you remember? I remember. I went shopping that day, so... April 15th. And right after that, I was kidnapped. Kanji, 
What about the television special you were on? Oh, yeah, that thing. Damn show made my mom go ape shit on me and... The date? Just tell us the date! Uh, I don't remember the exact date, but it wasn't too long before I met you guys. It's true, then. Everyone was on TV before they disappeared. So you think the killer's targeting people he sees on TV? I was so caught up with the news reports about the incidents that I didn't notice at all. It can't be a coincidence. Now that I think about it, when the killer failed with Yukiko, they moved to Kanji instead of trying again. Maybe this being on TV thing is some stupid rule that the killer's following. That's right. The killer could have targeted the same victim again. I think there's a definite connection here between the kidnappings and the TV broadcasts. The victims weren't just involved with the first case. They were also shown on the mass media. That must be it. But if so, what's the motive? Why kill someone just because they were on TV? Damn it. Now that I think about it, we haven't gotten anywhere. Why can't I be smarter? Dude, why beat yourself up? I think you guys are awesome. I mean, you guys noticed what was happening to me and even risked your lives to stop it. That's more than enough. You rescued me, too. We may not have solved the mystery, but we've saved two people already. That's true, but... What's more, everyone's deduction that Kanji-kun might be next was right on the nose. I know! We were so close! Huh? You knew before it happened? Damn. I wish you guys come a little earlier then. Yeah, we tried, but you know how that went. Well, if we know this much, I think we can outsmart the killer next time. Then it's a countdown to their arrest. Don't forget, it's always possible that Kanji-kun was the last target. Or so we hope. We've thwarted them twice already. Here's hoping the killers learn their lesson by now. Anyways, let's keep checking the Midnight Channel like usual when it rains. That reminds me! The school campout's next week! I hope it doesn't rain. It's for both the first year and second year students, so we'll see you there, Kanji-kun! Seriously? School, huh? What a drag. Yo, mind if I order another grilled steak? I'm gonna finish this one up while the next one's on the grill. We're, uh, we're going Dutch on the meal, right? Well, let's get going. I think our new teammate needs to meet Mr. Bear. Huh? What's up? Fine, whatever. I'll go for something cheap like ramen. Wait, or should I get a takoyaki set? Man, I can't decide. Sorry, Kanji. You're not getting more food. None of it. What?! <laughs> Into the TV we go! Oh yeah. Now that you mention it, I kind of remember this thing. Didn't think it was a bear though. Hey, why is it a bear? I don't know. Me neither. I've been wondering too. It, it's kind of cute. Mind if I pet you? No touching allowed, mister! Hey, don't give me any lip bear! <laughs> uh, by the way, I've, I've been wondering. You were kidnapped too, right, Yukiko-senpai? Huh? Yeah, it wasn't long before you. So, like, that means you came out to everyone too? <laughs> Uh... 
What was it like for Senpai? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hit you so hard. My jaw! I'll be more gentle next time. More gentle? <laughs> what a pair of dimwits. True. Oh yeah, here's a present from me, Kanji. It's to celebrate you joining the team. Oh, so these are the glasses you guys told me about. Hurry and put them on. Huh? Sure, but hang on, aren't these different from everyone else's? <laughs> it, it looks perfect on you. <laughs> Damn, dude, it looks great on you. I had a normal pair ready for you, but Yuki chan insisted on this one. She wouldn't budge. Yeah, real funny, you smart ass. <laughs> Why are you taking it out on me? Give me that! Well, you know how it goes. <laughs> you took my spare pair. Kanji, you must really like those. What a throw. This is the real one. It wasn't easy getting it to you. Why the hell did you bother making a spare if it's more useless crap? Damn it! I'll get you guys for this someday. So, uh, I'm gonna make sure there's no scene when I come in. You're back. What's up, Dojima? So, that was the scene that I think really did it for me. Like, in my first playthrough, I was I was enjoying the game a lot. But there was, like, that scene, the, the first time that that scene happened, I, I legitimately was crying from laughter myself. And, like, that was, that, this was the moment where I was like, all right, yeah, this game is gonna be fucking good. And I don't know what it is about at least Persona 5 and, and 4 Golden, but it was after the second dungeon where everything was just kind of like, all right, this is the moment where shit's just going to turn up. And like, like your enjoyment's going to turn up so much. Because like I said, you know, the start of the game can be a little slow, but I think it does a really good job of just like setting the mood and getting you in there. And then by the time that you get to this point and you get Kanji and you kind of like piece together some more stuff, like, just from this, like, it just gets better and better and better, and that's so fucking good. And I guess I, I thought the uh, the camp out was later, like, towards the end of the month, but I guess it's next week. We'll get there. So, yes, we have saved Kanji. He is back and now part of the investigation team. You'll love to see it. So, we have plenty of more downtime coming up. We have a camp out next weekend. And I think I'll do it for now. So until next time, I'm Trentia, and you guys have a good day.